So this is the baseline for the units that we've been building in Nicaragua. Classic dual vault urine diverting composting latrines. And this is the little casita that goes on top of it. So what I'm shooting for are these kinds of rough dimensions here uh, in this mock-up so that we can, to the extent possible, be able to do a direct comparison with the bill of materials and costs for the ones we've done in, um, to date. Uh, and our price point is about $415 for those, plus probably some escalation. Our prices may have shot up quite a bit in Nicaragua since we built the last one. I don't know that for a fact, but we can find it out. So that's the context for this, uh, for this mock-up that we're uh, working on today. And uh, I just shot a little bit of overhead footage of this to give a sense for the scale of it. And now I was going to go ahead and, and mock up uh, the roof using, a, well, where are they? There's a couple of corrugated sheets of plastic there that would be uh, kind of comparable to the kinds of galvanized corrugated roofing that we've used in Nicaragua. So for the purposes of quick prototyping here, this is just uh, some adjustable uh, toggle balls. They're like a bungee that you can adjust. So now I'll go ahead and try and get this mocked up uh, with the roof structure on. And this just puts the scale and size of this grid module in context. We are, what, 16 feet is within that bounding envelope and eight feet in this bounding envelope direction in the XY on this. Here's my favorite. Here, uh, I'm not trying this out. My favorite sanitation worker who I met when she was on the Belize City Water and Sewer Project back in 1975 is when I met her. This, this is was a. Not what <laughs> yeah, this was different. I <laughs> gotcha. Different. Oh dear. Well, at any rate, I just want to see if I can get up and get a few shots of this before it okay. collapses. I could have prototyped uh, a little further by applying this kind of uh, 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 siding material for a privacy screen, but I can deal it out another time. I think I want to get this down before the wind comes up. It's really quite unstable and uh, it's just sort of hanging on by a thread, but it gets the idea across. You know, clearly the roof needs to be higher and all the rest of the details need to be uh, engineered. Uh, Few of those points are the uh, uh, the support columns and their their base mounting, um, the connections at the top of the columns to the roof members, uh, the roof attachment details, the uh, gutter details, its attachment, uh, downspout to gutter connections, uh, a first flush approach needs to be added to the downspout. Uh, that's pretty straight, straightforward and standard. You see it in a lot of rainwater catchment systems. Uh, likewise, the plumbing from the downspout to the, uh, the 55 gallon drums uh, will be need to be detailed. Uh, the drum base elevation, such that you can get a five gallon pail underneath the spigot at one end, needs to be taken care of. Um, the actual physical spacing and the uh, layouts and, and human engineering for the uh, washroom and latrines, composting latrines drum area needs to be uh, optimized. This just shows a placeholder. It also illustrates that there are several varieties of 55 gallon poly drums from the blue one here on the left that has the, uh, the little prototype uh, toilet seat at the top part of the five gallon pail. Um, that, that's the one that I got several of them. There, there's two more over there, and these are, uh, are there's something fishy about these. These are actually from a fish sauce place in Hayward, so they really stink. Uh, I need to get them flushed out and cleaned up. This is a very nice drum here uh, with a very good kind of an attachment, removable lid. Um, and this is another model of uh, drum. Uh, nice people over a few blocks away gave them to me for free. 
they'd been using for rainwater. It was just a little much for the, the older grandmother in the house to, to look after and maintain for garden use. Um, so that's about it as I proceed now to dismantle and, uh, and put this prototype back into pieces. So we'll see whether or not the drone photos are sufficient to model it up. Uh, see if we can get a CAD team on this. As I say, the reference point that we're, we're shooting for and comparing with directly is this casita, which is the baseline for the currently funded. Um, it's approved. We have to get through the OFAC uh, submittal before we'll, they'll actually give us money to spend on it. But we have enough funds to do about 80 of this model, uh, less inflation effects perhaps. So that's where we are. I'm going to call it a wrap for now.